don't know. I don't know if they needed to really prove. I think that whole mentality is honestly part of the problem, right? Like the idea that like gaming has to be taken seriously, like by who, right? Yeah. Who 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 is the are the people that we are trying to appeal to to take gaming seriously, right? Because you know, a lot of people talk about games as art, right? Right? But this guy got mogged specifically because he was trying to say that the gameplay in the video game shouldn't matter <laughs> when viewing it as an art form, which is really stupid because gameplay is the thing that differentiates games from every other art form. <laughs> it's like trying to say, oh, the colors don't matter in a painting, <laughs> right? I am... Um... Games are art for me by the simple fact that they are creations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's sense. you know that's kind of my my very simple definition of art. Is it something that is, has been created consciously? Therefore, yeah. it's art. Uh, but are uh, games as art? Um, oh, sorry, I lost you there for a second. I oh, know. Uh, <laughs> you know, uh, blah blah blah. Uh, games are art because art they are created consciously. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. But games as art, I, I, um, old, right? He says to the yeah. world, in like to the mainstream world, to 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 mm. the guy on the street. Yeah, I don't think that was even say is. Any any attempt to prove something t to the world, to the guy on the street, to the to the to the mom watching the news on the couch, mm. that was a marketing decision. That was a budgeting. We need to look as yeah. pretty as possible decision. That wasn't really a decision. That wasn't an artist an artistic decision. It wasn't an artistic right? decision. But it's not really all doom and gloom because, and I want to reference Big Fry's recent video here who raised a pretty great point. There's an opportunity for the gaming industry to see a massive shift again right now. Like I said before, in the early 2000s to 2010s, big AAA gaming companies needed to prove to the world that they were something worth paying attention to through innovation, pushing the envelope of what was possible. And they did that. And now they don't need to do that anymore. But eventually, people will get tired. They always do. The market follows success. People know what they want and they will but vote with their wallets whether they agree? actually do so. Do I, do I agree with what? Triple A needed to prove? I don't know. I mean, it depends on who, like, do they need to prove? <sighs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know if they needed to really prove. I think that whole mentality is honestly part of the problem, right? Like, the idea that, like, gaming has to be taken seriously. Like, by who, right? Yeah. Who, who, who is the, are the people that we are trying to appeal to to take gaming seriously, right? Because you know, a lot of people talk about games as art, right? Video games are art. Would you mm. agree video games are yeah, art? Yeah, sure. I have yeah, a yeah. weird definition of art myself, but yeah. Yeah, but like in, in general, right? In like yeah. a general sense, right? Yes. We both agree that video games are art, but there's a subsect of people that have this idea that because video games are quote unquote art, right? That means they have to be like movies, right? Like you have to, you have to make your game more like movies because movies are taken seriously as an art form. So that means gaming has to be taken seriously. There was a tweet that went semi viral. It was a poorly worded tweet and I actually kind of feel sorry for the guy because he got fucking mogged. Mm. Um and I, even I mogged him because it was really stupid. <laughs> but the, basically he was trying to say something along the lines of like people talk about the gameplay loop too much when talking about video games as art because, because video games are more than just the gameplay loop um, because video games are so much more than just game gameplay loop and stuff and, and people and it, they were trying to make this really weird I because because there's obviously the idea that games are a product right Con mm -hmm. consumer product cap big capitalism talk right um, so there's like a conflict between the people that view it as a product and people that view it as an art form, right? But this guy got mogged specifically because he was trying to say that the gameplay in the video game shouldn't matter <laughs> when viewing it as an art form, which is really stupid because gameplay is the thing that differentiates games from every other art form. <laughs> it's like trying to say, oh, the colors don't matter in a painting, <laughs> right? <laughs> 
the the cinematography doesn't matter in a movie the the musical notes and the rhythm don't matter in a song right like it's very silly when you, and the guy did try to correct himself after the fact but he got he got he got really fucking because he was because he the way he viewed it was like the gameplay loop is talked about in terms of like consumer product like is mm-hmm. the gameplay loop good when you're talking about do you want to buy a game right so he had misinterpreted that as like a consumer buzzword right and not as like an actual technical term that's used within game development to be like you know to describe the actual like loop of the gameplay right yeah. so so yeah so he got fucking mogged he got absolutely destroyed and it was quite funny but also i did feel sorry for the guy a little bit um, yeah, because but this is just the, but this is just to, to loop it back around to the main point, right? Is that who are we actually trying to prove ourselves to as gamers and as game devs, right? Put the two camps together a little bit, right? Who who what are we trying to like appeal to? Are we going to be like the guy that does The Last of Us, where he's trying to like appeal to like big movie Hollywood? right because that's i mean he i don't know if you've seen the funny pictures of him getting on the red carpet and no one taking pictures because uh, no one knows I know, who he is. I, i'm just it's thinking of kojima who really really wants movies more than well, games actually well you say that but could you know kojima is an interesting case in that because he does actually care about the gameplay um people have this mis- misunderstanding about kojima that it's like oh he just wants to make movies or whatever but he he does i think kojima like i don't want to suck his dick or anything but i do actually think he's one of the only people in triple a right now who actually understands the importance of a gameplay loop and the reason i say that is because of death stranding because death stranding has a absolutely insanely good gameplay loop it is very and it, it narratively ties into the thematics of the entire experience right it's not just like oh kojima just slapped the walking sim delivery man uber eats gameplay and and then he does like a story that's like completely unrelated no the whole game is about forging connections with people and reconnecting people who are separated and stranded and delivering things to these people so that they can you can regain the network right you can we have to rebridge society and humanity together so that we can become you know one again right Mm -hmm. and so there's like this whole overarching thing about it and he ties that gameplay so well with the narrative that i think people don't quite you know, they, they get this idea. Oh, he just does all these movies, and he does. He, you know, it's not. You know, it's, uh, you know, he just wants. You know, and it's like, sure, I can understand because he is definitely a movie buff, and he's really into his movies, and he likes to hang. He likes hanging out with his actor buddies. In yeah, New York, that's, wearing, that's, that's kind of the wearing, most wearing anime, wearing anime t shirts in New York City, right? Like he's, he's that's definitely part of his, you know, character. But I think he does. On on a, on a creative level, understand the importance of gameplay in a video game and how to use gameplay as the part of the overall experience, rather than just having it as an afterthought, right? Because if you look at, I know I'm rambling on a little bit, but this, this is kind of important, right? If you look at a lot of games from developers that try to push the whole, oh, my game is an art piece. My game is, oh, my farts are so, they smell so good, Ellie. Oh, my game. Oh, you, you it's all about trauma and, 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 oh, and all of this stuff. It's so bad. And then you play the game and it's just, oh, you, you interact with objects and you, and you talk to people and, you, and there's no, there's no, there's no actual gameplay there it's my it's like you might as well have just made a virtual novel right or or made a like movie or something or you know something like that like there's no the gameplay isn't actually integral to what you've done right and that's kind of the problem is again to, to go back to my example it would be like trying to paint without understanding how color theory works right or trying to make a movie and not knowing how to operate the camera right that's a problem that i see a lot with 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 these types of artsy uh, yeah so I so know. let's go back to the video right from who yeah because i've got complete tangent yeah i'm sorry about that i got really distracted there um so, I'll, so, let you, I'll let you make a i'll let i'll let you make a point and then we'll get back to the video so so i am um 
Games are art for me by the simple fact that they are creations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So sense. that's you know that's kind of my my very simple definition of art. Is it something that is, has been created consciously? Therefore, it's art. Uh, but are uh, games as art? Um, oh, sorry, I lost you there for a second. I oh, know. I know. Uh, <laughs> blah blah blah. blah. Uh, games are art because art they are created consciously. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. But games as art, I, I, um, you can always interest me in an examination of games and how the interactions of the game with the game world and the in the game world with the with the consequence and the game the the game world and the systems of the game world. Those those. Art things, uh, those mm, mechanical mm. aspects of how that works and how that relates to each other is also kind of an art form in and of itself. You can always interest me uh, um, in that kind of talk. But yeah, triple A one. Can you let's let's hear him again? Just right. Does he okay, actually you want me to go? Uh, me go back. Just a few seconds, really. All right, hang on. Yeah. I'll go back to like the triple. He's talking about triple A's there, so yeah. I'll go back to here. Because, and I want to reference Big Fry's recent video here, who raised a pretty great point. There's an opportunity for the gaming industry to see a massive shift again right now. Like I said before, in the early 2000s to 2010s, big AAA gaming companies needed to prove to the world that they were something worth paying attention to through innovation, pushing the envelope of what was possible. And they did that. And now they don't need to do that anymore. But eventually, so, people will get tired of To the they world, always... right? He says to the yeah. world in like. To the mainstream world, to 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 mm. the guy on the streets. Yeah, I don't think that was even say is any any attempt to prove something t to the world, to the guy on the street, to the to the to the mom watching the news on the couch. Mm. That was a marketing decision. That was a budgeting. We need to look as yeah. pretty as possible decision. That wasn't. Really, a decision. That wasn't an artist, out. an artistic decision. It wasn't an artistic right? decision, as far as I yeah. assume. Mm. So, the only the only real uh, artistic decision made was kind of the direction of how they wanted to look. Right? Do they right. Uh, now? Besides, oh, we wanted realistic. All right. Do we want gray brown? Do we want mm. this role? Do we want dark what tone are we going for yeah what yeah. tone what what era what what kind of what conflict what are zone? what are their artistic inspirations as he talked about in the beginning of the video yeah right? like, like in every movies. movie that he mentions yeah. yeah yeah so those are all the artistic considerations but not that their their own drive to to be as big and bombastic that's that's well, from what i mm. see from what i i gather said that that was a marketing decision mm. so mm. and and of course being better than the competition because if they are big and bombastic we need to be even bigger and bombastic yeah, it, it, call, it causes a feedback loop yeah all right so well, before triple we move a on being, oh, sorry, I'll triple a being big and bigger and bigger wasn't triple a trying to prove to the world it was more of trying to prove that you were worth the money, not worth mm. as an artistic art form, as I can, as I see it. So to just address, because Jake made some good points in the chat, right? Looping back to the Kojima, right? Um, uh, you know, he, yeah, you know, well, he makes the point. You know, the edit don't matter in a movie. The the gutter don't matter in a comic. Yeah, they see that's what I'm talking. Yeah, see, Jake, Jake and I are on the level, right? Jake and I are on the same same wavelength here, right? Like there are diff like there are differences between mediums that are really important to understand if you're going to get into those mediums, right? And those things are what makes that medium different to another medium, like a manga from a comic, right? Like the difference in structure, the difference in how the gutters and the panels are laid out. Um, in MGS2's gameplay loop is a meta commentary. Yeah, so a good point on that with Kojima is how would he be able to make a meta commentary on the gameplay loop of the first game if he didn't understand the gameplay loop of the first game, right? It's kind of hard to be able to, you know, if you don't care about gameplay, to be able to commentate on the gameplay. 
Um, and yeah, I agree with you that he's less film buff and more otaku. Yeah, he's definitely an otaku when it comes to Western media. Like he he is very into it. Um, and and on on that regard. So anyway, let's let's see if we can cap the video off. Yeah.